Hey everybody, it's DJ Jerry here with ShopTime, and we are doing our sequence videos on using Show Express. Uh, again, Show Express is, a, is an amazing program, and if you haven't used it yet, uh, go play around with it, go download it. If you don't know how to download it, go watch some of the other videos that we've created on this. Um, but enjoy it. And uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to show you a little bit about what these durations and these steps are all involving. Um, so to start off, we're just going to click on our freedom parse. And so for our first step in our freedoms, um, we selected our group. Again, if, if you didn't learn anything on groups yet, uh, make sure you go check out some of the past videos that we did um, regarding creating groups in uh, Show Express. So clicking on freedoms, it gives me all four of my freedoms. Now, if I want my freedoms to react all the same, again, that's where this all comes in. Uh, moving these sliders, these are macros. So those macros are changing. Um, they're basically, <coughs> excuse me, those macros are changing the colors and things, um, but they're not showing up in your selector or anything. Um, but basically, we're just going to give you a quick rundown on the steps itself. So we're just gonna guess that right here, 46, this is, this is red. Uh, we're gonna click on one, and then we're gonna add a next step. And this one right here is your add step button. And then we're gonna move it up again. And we're gonna say that this is green. We're gonna add again. This is blue, add again. So really, again, all I'm really showing you is that we're changing the steps here. And the next part I'm gonna show you is when you click on these again, you're gonna notice these sliders moving up and down because basically everything that we've created is actually being saved. Okay, so when you click on the step one, you're going to see it drop all the way down. And then when you click on step two, this is the second step that you created, the third step you've created, the fourth step, so on and so on. Now, if I want to add a step and replace number five with a different step, this is where the insert step is going to come in at. So you just click this, and now this step is going to be the same as step four. And you just click on five. You raise it up to wherever you want, and then as soon as you're done, then you can just click off of it. And you can see this was basically the inserted step that we just put in between the original four and the original five. So this is the new five. Um, this is six, seven, so on, so on. So one of the things that uh, you can really take advantage of is the duration step change. And this will basically allow you to change individuals or you can change an entire sequence. So if you feel that your fade or your, your jump uh, in your colors is taking, it's not enough time, or you want more time, you know, you don't want them at five seconds, then you can change this number right here and change it to, we're just gonna put, uh, uh, we're gonna put 10 seconds. Um, now it's going to, when you hit enter on your keyboard, it's going to ask, do you wanna recalculate all these step lengths? When you click yes, you're going to see all these durations change. So you have seven things happening in a matter of 10 seconds. So everything's going to go a lot faster now. So now this step's only going to take one minute, almost almost one and a half seconds. Um, now, if you want a longer time frame, so you want it to be a minute and 10 seconds for all those steps to happen, we're going to type in one minute, 10 seconds, hit enter. It's going to ask you to recalculate. And you're going to see all these one seconds, they're going to jump to over 10 seconds or about 10 seconds. Um, so now you, again, you can see how changing the time is going to affect all of these. Now you can change each individual one. So if this is a red, uh, we want to change this one. They really like red. Um, you know, we can change that to 20 seconds, hit enter. And now you see this one's going to be on for 20 seconds and these are still going to be on for nine seconds. So you can change each individual uh, step that you've created. Again, steps are really easy. If you want to move, um, just to show you, so you can make sure that you, you understand on the movement, I'm going to change the time on this one so you can see that actually happening. So step six, we want to move that one up to maybe step two. So you just use these up arrows, use these down arrows, and you can put it wherever you want. So now that step, what was originally, I believe, step six is now step two. So again, that's the advantage of utilizing those. Um, that's that's really it. Uh, the durations on things, um, they're pretty simple. 
but as you can see, when you hit the play button, it's actually going to walk through. Right now, uh, step two is 19 seconds long, so it's going to take a little bit longer than normal. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. We're going to go down. Let's change this to five seconds. Actually, let's just do this. We're going to change this to 10 seconds. Yes, we want to recalculate. Now you'll see these sliders. Once it hits those steps, you'll see those sliders move up. And they move fast because right now we have the step. We don't have the fade uh, for this option right here, which we'll go into that a little bit later. Um, but now everything's going to happen uh, very fast. So this is going to be two seconds long. This is under one second. And this is one second and 30, or 0.37. And when I hit play, you'll see it jumps to step two, then the three. And then four, and again, you can see the movements on the sliders here. So um, just like a, a hard wire or a hard board, uh, like an Obey, um, it's basically taking care of all that for you. All you have to do is pre-program some of those things, and uh, we'll walk through the pre-programming here as we go through everything. So um, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. If you have questions, feel free to let me know. You can reach me at jeremy at djjrshoptime.com. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time.